Boy loudly cries as teacher throws away his lunch, saying to never eat at school again. What does the word teacher actually stand for? Yes everyone knows what the term generally means, but what are teachers truly expected to represent? A teacher is supposed to be someone who is trusted by parents to educate their children about formal education, show the child or children more about life, and also, to be a friend, a confident role model, and an ally. But even though there are teachers out there who adhere to these unsaid rules, and take care of the children as if they were their own, there are many out there who become a child's nightmare. These types of teachers are often portrayed in movies and TV shows, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist in real life. A school is supposed to be a home away from home. But these kinds of teachers turn that around, turning the school into a place where the child would rather not be. School probably isn't high up on the list of places where kids truly want to be, but there's a problem when a kid absolutely dreads going in. Over the years, there have been many revealing circumstances, many situations that have revealed some of the most awful teachers a child can ever be put under. Like that teacher at the Durham Catholic District School, Ontario. Granted, people need to eat healthily. A healthy eating habit fundamentally helps the body's vital systems and allows them to properly function. Neglecting to feed your body healthy sources of food can have severe consequences later on in life. And I think we can all agree when we say some schools don't serve the best of lunches and breakfasts. In said schools, some students would prefer to not eat at all, instead of eating the meals the school is providing, and in many cases, these children have no choice but to bring their food to school. But as there are schools that provide bad meals, there are also schools that take healthy eating seriously, perhaps a little bit too serious, or at least one of them did. At Durham Catholic District School, Ontario, a healthy eating initiative was put into place to guarantee that their students are getting only the best meals that would do good to their bodies. Apart from serving healthy lunches, the school encouraged the children to bring healthy food from home as well, which is more than we can say about most schools. This was the perfect school. Until it wasn't. They took a huge fall in the eyes of the townspeople when news broke out that a child had been treated badly because of his homemade meal. It was further revealed that a four-year-old boy had brought with him a homemade slice of banana bread and when it was time for lunch, he had settled to eat his meal like he did nearly every school day. Then one of the teachers in charge of watching the students in the cafeteria walked by at that exact moment. He saw the meal in the boy's hand just as he was about to have the first bite, and instantly, the teacher went to the child, plucked the meal out of his hand and threw it in the trash can, then carried on walking. Confused, and unhappy that he'd just lost his meal, the boy arrived home upset and confused. Seeing her child unhappy, the mother made inquiries, asking if something had happened in school, and the boy told her everything. Infuriated, the mother went to the school the next day and took her time with the teacher and anyone else who would listen. The teacher who collected the banana bread from the child said he did so because the banana bread had chocolate chips in it. In her interview with the star, she said, he, her child, came home with a chart, listing healthy snack ideas, and told me he and the teacher talked about it and healthy choices. He also sent a note to me. I was really, really, really mad for several reasons, Elena told the star. And as it turns out, this wasn't the first time the teacher in question had been unkind to the students. More than 30 parents have said their child has had food taken from them by the very same teacher. There's a correct way to go about doing what the teacher was trying to achieve, and this definitely wasn't the correct way to do it. Durham Catholic District School Board then went on to say lessons on healthy eating is part of their school curriculum, but, there is nowhere in our policy or procedures that say our staff is allowed to take food away from a student, says James McKinnon, a teaching and learning consultant with the school board.